dragons are my children. They're the only children I'll ever have. Do you understand? We are going to destroy the Night King and his army. We'll do it together. Hello, my sweet summer children. I'm back with some juice to get you through the long night. So I got a DM on Twitter from one of our sweet summer siblings, Athena Spurs, and she was shook. She was like, Gray, say it ain't so. And she linked me to an article and it was about the foreshadowing that Daenerys would not only never be queen, but Daenerys would die in season eight. And I was like, ooh, child, things are gonna get easy. So the Reddit user ddog3 says that there was a major clue that went over everyone's head. So the user says, quote, while this is a vision, this is a major hint dropped by George R.R. R. Martin and the producers of Daenerys' fate. So no, the show House of the Undying Visions are not from George R.R. R. Martin. They are nothing like the book versions. I did a two part series on the book versions and they are night and day. I'll link it for you. So let me tell you what this person says. So basically the Reddit user is saying that Daenerys' visions in season two showed the throne room destroyed and showed her with the dead people Drogo and Rago. so Daenerys will die fighting White Walkers and meet up with Drogo and Rago in the Shadowlands of Death. But I'm gonna tell you what I think is really going on with these visions, because I don't think that's accurate. And we're gonna be talking about the show vision of the House of the Undying and what they mean. So Daenerys visits the House of the Undying in season two, episode 10. The House of the Undying is the home of the warlocks where they drink the shade of the evening and get visions and all of that jazz. So in the show, Daenerys goes there because the warlocks of Karth have taken her dragons. Where are my dragons? So while she's looking for her dragons, she sees a bunch of things. So let's talk about it. So she walks into the throne room and it's destroyed. This is the throne room at King's Landing in the Red Keep. So she looks up and the roof is gone. The Red Keep looks to have been burned. It's covered in snow. The roof is gone. This like hints at an attack by White Walkers. And actually, the way the roof is burned up, it's likely that it was Viserion or a dragon who burned the roof off. Cause if it was wildfire, then the entire building should have exploded like the Sept of Baylor did. The Sept of Baylor was just a pile of rumble, but the Red Keep, it's not, it's just the roof. This could be just something they didn't think about at the time, because in this vision, the windows had the blue rose in them, and we know last season those windows were changed to lions. So it could be just an oversight, but I do like the fact that this blue rose in the window is in her vision, because in the book version of her visions, she sees Jon Snow, but she doesn't actually see him. She just sees a blue rose growing through a chink in a wall of ice. Jon Snow on the wall. So I do like that she sees the window of the Red Keep in her visions with the blue rose in it. Also, we know for a fact that it has to do with the White Walkers because my boy, Talking Thrones, had peeped a huge clue in this scene. And it's the background theme music that's playing while Daenerys is having these visions. Like seriously, Talking Thrones first 48 did this. So Game of Thrones has different theme music for different characters. The Faceless Men have a theme. The Starks have a theme. And the White Walkers have a theme as well. It, and it plays during their scenes. But in this scene with Daenerys, you hear the White Walker theme music. So Daenerys walks up to the throne. She's just about to touch it. And she looks north and goes beyond the wall. This is exactly what happened in season seven. Daenerys was very close to touching the throne. She had destroyed the bulk of Cersei's forces in the loot train attack, but she ended up going beyond the wall with Jon. In the vision, she goes into a tent with Drogo and he's holding her son, Rago, her dead son. But in the show, in season 7, just when she has committed to the blockade around King's Landing, she smashed Cersei's armies. She is within inches of victory. She goes beyond the wall. 
at John's request. She lost her son, the Sarion, a dragon. So Rago and Drogo could represent that because it was their lives that brought forth her dragons. But also, it was beyond the wall where she fell in love with Jon Snow. It was on a ship leaving Eastwatch where the King in the North not only bent the knee to her, but also the sparks started to fly. And it wasn't long after that that they were on a ship having boat sex. And it wasn't long before that that we got all of the foreshadowing that Daenerys and Jon would have a child. So in a nutshell, I believe that the vision she had in season two foreshadowed that the White Walkers would come to King's Landing before Daenerys could take the throne. A dragon would burn the roof off of the Red Keep. Daenerys would fight the White Walkers and beyond the wall, she would fall in love with Jon Snow. He would become her Drogo and their child would be their Rago. But what do you think? What do you think her visions meant in the House of the Undying? Not in the books, but in the show. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone that supports me on Patreon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and join the Sweet Summer family. Okay, my Sweet Summer children, have a good day.